What's up everybody, good morning. My name is Roland and welcome to my first ever video on the tube. It is Wednesday, I hope you all have a great week and I'm just going to show you something really awesome. Something super dope, something that has been in the works for quite a while now. We've been testing it out with a lot of different people. We made sure it was easy to use and that is this awesome scoreboard program. <laughs> Cue the intro. Before we get started, I want to thank one person in particular, and that is GoGoGo7. Together we developed this scoreboard application, but he did all the coding stuff, which is a lot of work, by the way. He's an actual wizard, and therefore you should follow him. His links and his social are down in the description below. What this software does is let you display a scoreboard on your stream to keep track of any match, keyword battles, sub tournaments, online tournaments, or even in real life soccer matches, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to run you through acquiring this nifty piece of engineering, show you what it's like, where things go, try to simplify it for you the best that I can. And, and I think at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to edit the designs in Photoshop if you would love to go the extra mile so you can customize it for your own stream. Animations included. Now let's get this magical scoreboard on your streaming program. All right, the first step is an easy one and that is downloading the respective program from the link in my description and put it in a spot that's comfortable for you. Right click on the folder you want and select download. Once downloaded, you have a multitude of files and folders. The ones you should keep in the back of your mind are the important files folder. If you are tech savvy and know how to code, you can find these files in here. The overlay folder for customizing the design later in the video. And of course, the scoreboard.exe file. When opening up OBS or Streamlabs, it's as simple as adding a custom browser source to the scene where you want the scoreboard to be. So we go to sources, hit the plus icon, go to browser source. Now we need to locate the scoreboard.html file. We check the use local file checkbox and search for our source. Make sure that the width and height are 1920 by 1080 and make sure that in the properties of this source, shut down source when not visible and refresh browser when seems becomes active are checked. You can also drag and drop the HTML file into OBS itself and it automatically adds it to your scene. Looks pretty dope. But Roland, it's blank. I can't type anything. Don't worry, we didn't mess it up. It's just we didn't open the scoreboard.exe file yet. Let's locate the scoreboard.exe in the explorer and double click it. That opens up a window and that is the actual scoreboard program where we can put our names and scores in. The only thing left is to switch scenes back and forth or renew the cage and <laughs> there we go. This looks way better. Our overlay and the program are now connected and we can change anything we like. For example, if I want to change the score to 1-0, it's as easy as clicking the plus icon on the respective side. Same goes for the other way around. We can change names by typing the team name or player name. And we've added two small inputs for miscellaneous zoos. Stuff like rounds and tournament name or something else. We made sure it's easy as possible to use. So you as a streamer can focus on your stream and don't get distracted by a thousand knobs and settings you want to tinker with. And I hope you really like what we've designed so far. However, I did mention you can edit the design to your heart's content. And let me show you how to do just that. Disclaimer though, you need Photoshop or GIMP editing skills for this. If you don't know how to use one of these programs, I recommend asking a friend who can do this for you. So my tool of preference is Photoshop. And remember those folders I talked about at the beginning of this video? We need those files in Photoshop. So click and drag them all in. Now I do recommend copying these files as you may or may not break the design. And in case you mess it up, you all have a backup. Um, but it's easy as editing these files and replace them as a PNG file. 
For now, I just edit the colors of the scheme, but you can do whatever you want, like replacing the logo with your own logo or restyle the whole shape of the thing. But be sure the files are at the same place so the text stays in the right position. And that's it. You've just added an animated scoreboard to your stream. Maybe even designed it. Considerably better than using text files and editing in one place. And it took about 15 minutes to add and design this scoreboard to your stream. See how easy it is? So let's watch this one more time because it's tasty. Ooh, love it. Have at it, man. It's not very hard to do, but I encourage you guys to come up with some different cool designs to really enhance your scoreboard and integrate it into your own stream. But it's the little things that make a big difference for your stream. So hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe even if you're into that. Would love to have you. And, and I will probably see you guys in the next video, which will be, I don't know when, I haven't thought about it yet. Do you guys have any ideas? Is that okay to ask? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I make a video based on your questions, okay? Also, thank you for watching my very first video on YouTube. Um, so, um, here we are. I'm really looking forward to my next video. Peace. Awesome scoreboard program.